好。Oh, let's time. Welcome everyone to it's howling time with the howling wolf. Here, gonna give you selections for June twenty ninth, two thousand nineteen. The tracks gonna be Woodbine. It is the Queen's Plate for a one million dollar purse, going a mile and a quarter distance. We got a field of fourteen running. The favorite is the number 14, Avery's Flatter, at Moreland Odds at 5-2. I'm going to be giving you my two top selections plus my horse to watch. For my horse to watch, it is going to be the number 7, Federal Law. Federal Law is Moreland Odds at 15-1. to It's by Scat Daddy out of a Strong Hope Mare. Last time ran on June the 8th. At Woodbine, going a mile and one eighth distance on a fast course, on the Queen's on the Plate Trial, came in second by a length and three quarters. Was up in there for the pace and gave way and fought on into the stretch, and just got caught right at the finish line and tired out. Time before that, it ran on May nineteenth. At Woodbine, going seven furlongs on the fast track. It was a Queen Stone for a $125,000 purse. Came in first by a neck. Was also got bumped into the stretch and was held on driving to win the race. The workouts have been on May 12th at Woodbine, going four furlongs on a fast track. And 47.4 seconds breezing was the 20th best out of the 7-3 workouts that day. Then the la- time after that, it worked out on May 31st at Woodbine going four furlongs on a fast track. And went in 50.2 seconds breezing was the 24th best out of the 30 workouts that day. Then the last workout was on June 22nd. At Woodbine, going four furlongs on a fast track, went in 47.3 seconds breezing, was the ninth best out of the 67 workouts that day. For I'm seeing here with this one, it is getting Jamie Spencer aboard. And the last two races was off slow a bit. One race, they got up there for the lead at the longer distance, just got tired out. Then the last race went on a shorter distance and was in the back pace and got a good kick. So that's the type of of, of think, thinking they're going to need to do. The jockey's going to need to hold on to the horse till when it gets to the turn, that second turn to come around and come in for the stretch to make that long, great kick. It's had two bad starts going off slow and bumped twice. And it's had trouble studying and getting bumped. So this horse has had some issues. But if it could get a good clean start. And Jamie Spencer could get it off in a well positioned well. You should see Federal Law get up there at a great price and a great win. So again for my horse to watch. In the Queen's Plate. It is the number 7 Federal Law at Morning Line Odds at 15 to 1. And for my second choice, it is going to be the number one Desert Ride. Desert Ride at Moriland Odds is at 8 to 1. It's by Candy Ride out of a Distorted Humor Mare. Last time ran on June 8th at Woodbine. Went in a mile and one eighth distance on a fast track. It was the Woodbine Oaks for a $500,000 purse. Was able to win that race by neck. Hit the gate, had the angle five wide to get in there for that nice kick into the stretch to win it off so it was passing up the horses and the tiring horses out well the time before that it ran on June, on April 
18th at Keeneland, going a mile distance on the turf, on the firm turf, for allowance $81,000, was able to win that race by a neck. Had to go four wide into it and come off into the stretch to win it well by a neck. The workouts have been on May 28th at Churchill Downs going five furlongs on a fast track when in one minute, one second breezing was the 16th best out of the 21 workouts that day. The workout after that was on June 3rd at Churchill Downs went three furlongs on a fast track did it in 39.2 seconds breezing, was the 8th best out of the 8 workouts that day. Then the last workout was on June 21st at Churchill Downs, went on 5 furlongs on a fast track, went in 1 minute, 2 seconds, point three, breezing, was the 19th best out of the 28 workouts that day. What I've seen here, it had some great starts. It knows how to get into position. The jockey knows how to get into the position well. Is one for one at Woodbine and is three for four this year at in its record. Well, I see here what this one's going to need to do is the thing it's been doing. Just probably be a little closer this time to show off that it has the ability. Maybe lay off just a little bit and show off that kick closer off into the turn instead of in the stretch. But show it off right around that turn, passing all the other horses that would be tiring. So again, for my second choice in the Queen's Plate, it is the number one desert ride at Moriline Odds at 8-1. to one. And now for my top choice, it is going to be the number, excuse me one second, it is going to be the number 10. Skywire. Skywire's morning line odds is at 4 to 1 is by a fleet Alex out of a Gone West mare. Last time ran on May 25th at Woodbine going a mile and 1 16th is on a fast track in the Marine graded 3 stakes race. Was able to come in second by a length. Had to go 2 to 4 wide. And gain the tiring horses to get up into the stretch to have a second and stay second into the stretch in the finish line. And the time before that ran on April 28th at Woodbine, went a mile and one sixteenth distance on a fast track on the one one hundred thousand dollars one hundred thousand dollar stakes race. Was able to win that race by two and a half lengths. Made a bid, was in second, was behind the pace setter, then passing on by into the stretch to come in a good two lengths. As the race was a little bit longer, it would have won it by much more. So, and the workouts have been on June 9th at Woodbine, a five furlongs on a fast track, did it in 59 seconds, breezing. Was the third best out of the 39 workouts that day. Then the time after that was on June 16th at Woodbine, going five furlongs on a fast track. Worked out in a 58 flat breezing, was the best out of the 43 workouts that day. Then the last workout was on June 23rd, going four furlongs on a fast track, did it in 47 seconds flat. Breezing was the fourth best out of the 87 workouts that day. What I see here with this one, going a little bit longer distance is going to be a plus. 
It's keeping the Silva aboard, which the Silva, the Silva knows that knows how to position the horse well and into position. He knows how to get him into position very well. And we'll have to just hold on just a little bit longer at this longer distance. Just hold back a bit more until that turn to make the run for it into the stretch to come up late or right at time in the finish line. You'll see this one coming up fast and strong. So again, and the, and this this horse has been two for three at Woodbine, and and this year has been two for four. So for this one, you're gonna see this one coming up fast. So again, for my top selection in the Queen's Plate, a hundred thousand dollar purse race number ten. It is going to be the number 10 Skywire at Morning Line Odds at 4 to 1. <laughs> and remember, when you're cashing with the wolf, it's how. time. Good luck everyone and let's cash in those tickets and everyone have a great day handicapping and winning money.